not so obvious. To understand the real essence of our human being, we neither have to look at the present nor at the future. Our real being is the past. And as I said before, I'm going to give you three strong reasons why knowing the past is very important. Firstly, knowing the past helps us to build up the basis of our cultural background and shape our present. In a world of today where everyone has to deal with very different people, it is essential to respect the Bible of death. And in order to get the respect of the others, we must have a respectable cultural background. That comes from our past history, education, upbringing, and values that the past generation have built past. Besides, also, a good knowledge of current events is essential to be respected as a citizen of the world. We can say that the events of today find their roots in the past. So the past comes back in everything we do. The past builds up our present. Secondly, knowing the past helps us to shape our future. Sometimes the solution of present problem can be found in history. Just think about the great historical figure like Roosevelt, who rebuilt the world economy after the Great Depression in 1929. And considering the economic crisis that affected our world nowadays, maybe a solution can be found by analyzing some of the great ideas Roosevelt had and tailoring them to the current situation. Moreover, the past is the starting point that helps us to improve technology, for example and our knowledge in several fields. You may agree with me that sometimes we don't create from scratch, but we can't improve what already exists. For example, in a medical area, all the results that we have achieved start from all the researches and studies made in the past. Not to mention technology. Please look at your cell phone or the iPod of my teacher, for example, and think the one that you had 10 years ago. I think that it's totally different. So we can say that past and past to build our future. Last but not least, the third reason is that if you know the past, you are able to analyze mistakes and not to commit them again in the future. Some clear examples of terrible mistakes are wars, especially in the First and Second World War. Imagine to be ruled by people who ignore these catastrophic events. <laughs> what will happen? Please, try to think about this. I think that this mistake could be repeated again and again and again and again, again in the future. These people could be converted to children who live day by day. How many of you would like to be ruled by children? Please, raise your hand. Oh, well, nobody. Well, I expect it. Because I'm talking to people that know the importance of avoiding past mistakes. So the past and past to aim to help us, we can say that to not repeat the same mistake in the present and in the future. In conclusion, to build our present, to build our future, and not to remain a child is a very important one. All these depend on one thing: knowing the past, respect, awareness, improvements, and decision. These are world that a child will never understand because he doesn't know anything yet about the importance of the past. But I'm sure, I'm totally, totally sure that he will, and he will become a real man. Thank you.